Many popular apps automatically share your personal data while I have accepted a certain amount of data collection from Google. To know companies such as Facebook perform, this without my concern bothers me. After some researching, I have found a great solution and it doesn't require root. So welcome back to Get Travel Tips. In this video, we will be showing how to stop any Android app from stealing your data. There is an app called Island. Island is an app which creates a sandbox environment to house selected apps and isolate them from your personal datas. Using the manager profile features introduced in Android 5.0 Lollipop, Island allows you to create a separate profile which doesn't share the data of your personal profile. It is currently still in early access phases which means it isn't stable as other apps on the Play Store. However, I can personally attest to its reliability as I have been using this app for a while and I haven't found any issues. Open the app and select Accept on the initial startup page. This will bring you to be a network of profile creation page where you should choose Accept and Continue. A loading page will appear as your work profile is created. Island has three tabs which are Mainland, Island and Discovery. Mainland refers to the apps found in a personal profile. These app have access to your personal data, many of which may have already sent into companies. Island refers to apps in the sandbox environment. App here cannot access the majority of your private data including contacts, call logs and more. Finally, discovery lists apps that work well with this app. To do so, once the app is installed on your phone, do not open it. This will prompt the automatic sending of your personal data instead of find the app within the list of app in mainland and select it. You will see a prompt along the bottom of your screen. Select the first icon to the right of the app's name, the dual square with A plus in the center. The first time you perform this, a prompt will appear informing you that Island will launch Android installer to install the app. However, this installation doesn't take up an extra storage space, so choose continue. A pop-up will appear informing you the cloning is taking place. Switch to the Island tab to see that app did in fact move. This is the island version of the app, the one without access to your data. So that's it guys, I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to get more upcoming updates. We'll be back with more exciting videos. This is Shahim signing off from Get Tips.